Oh yeah, here I am. Uh, woo. That's uh, <laughs> that's my the little app that I used uh, to connect with the camera. This is my Yeti microphone over here, and uh, these are how I talk to my uh, my new found app called ALVR. Um, stands for Airlight Virtual Reality. Um, this is what you need in order to um, to uh, to use um, the um, Oculus Go. It's basically, you can take an Oculus Go and use and stream video from your graphics card uh, in your PC to uh, to simulate a Oculus Rift. You don't need a rift anymore. All you need is a go. I wouldn't say that's a, that easy. It's still a lot of the bugs haven't been worked out in the technology. It's still got some crazy stuff going on with it. That I even got Skyrim VR and I haven't been able to figure out how to get to work all that well. I have uh, I have used um, uh, Alt Space VR and it works. Aside from some things, I'm not able to fly in the game. I am able to uh, transport around the the maps, and uh, it is pretty good. Um, it's a, quite a different experience than using the Go, um, but a lot of people wouldn't do it because, it, um, for one thing, it requires that you have a good graphics card. This is the graphics card I'm using. It cost me, uh, let's see how much it cost me for this. Um, if I can pull up my uh, my uh, record. So I'm gonna pop in my, uh, gonna get into my uh, Google browser. Uh, no, I don't wanna restart, okay. So I'm gonna go to my Amazon account. See how much I paid. Uh, whoa! No things. Uh, my account orders. Let's see. Yeah, this is what I bought. It cost me a hundred and eighty-six dollars and seventy-three cents. And uh, this is a low power version of the NVIDIA cards that you usually find uh, that have like little power connectors you have to hook to the cards to use, um, uh, to get essentially the same thing. There's actually no difference between these low power versions and the ones that they, they sell you that are high power. The main difference between them is that they're high power. <laughs> um, they're they're not quite as efficiently designed as the uh, as these devices are, and um, those cards will probably cost you the same amount of money. But let's see, let's do a ten fifty a regular ten fifty uh, Nvidia ten fifty, not a Ti a Ti I think is a Texas Instruments version. Um, I don't know if that's the, what the major difference is. Oh, you can get a gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050, but it's a two gigabyte version. I got the four gigabyte version. So that's the reason why I got the more expensive one. This is $130. Um, but I mean, two gigabytes is still overkill. Uh, it's pretty overkill for what you need. Um, if you're saying you're wanting to work, um, th that's that's several times over the resolu um, the amount of memory you need for the resolution you're going to be working at. So 4K is um, 16 megabytes times uh, three or four primaries. That's uh, 64 megabytes or so. You're still that's like a tenth or like a twentieth. What? Uh, no, it's it's like 
a fortieth what uh, the amount of uh, memory that you got in the card. It's going to be using it for textures and things like that. But uh, let's see what's the tint. The let's see, we'll try one gigabyte and under. Do they even have a one gigabyte ten fifty? Uh, no. You don't want anything that's that's one gigabyte and less, I guess. Um, let's try two gigabyte. Take two, two gigabyte, yeah. The lowest price one you can come up with, that's a 1050. Uh, come on. I specified a 1050. Why is it not giving me just 1050s? See, it's showing me other things. It's showing me 1030s. You can't use a 1030 with uh, this program. Uh, $150. Uh, there's 150 130 um, Let's see if there is anything that's uh, 50 to $100. That's a 1050. I'm kind of doubting it. Ten, ten thirty, ten thirty, ten thirty. Uh, you can't use AMD's. AMD's won't satisfy you. You need an NVIDIA to do it. There's a seven fifty Ti, but you can't use that either. Say, so I got a seven fifty Ti. That's what I. That was my old card. There, um, there's almost no difference between the ten fifty. Oh, here it is, a GTX 1050, two gigabyte. It is a two go, which I've never heard of. Uh, claims that it's uh, $60. So, but that is a higher powered card. That is not a low power TI card. That one you need a special power connector for. There's a 1050, a GTX 1050 for $72, a Martin Nimble. And uh, so you can end up spending less, but I, I've never heard of these graphics card companies. Uh, they're in the hundred dollar ranges, and they're ten fifties. The difference is, is they're not ten fifty Ti's, and a ten fifty Ti is a low powered version. This, this, uh, I'll show you what my old graphics card looks like. Um, that's sitting right over here. It back. So, this is a 750 Ti. And this is a low power. This was the top of the line low powered, what it's called a stream streamlined uh, graphics card. And you can see how big this sucker is. And you can see that it doesn't have a power connector. It doesn't have one of those big old red um, six six uh, volt power connectors or 12 volt power connectors that you have to cook from the motherboard. My motherboard doesn't even provide one. And it, my motherboard, even if I had it, um, it wouldn't be able to support those, um, the wattage that these things, were, uh, the big ones demand. This one's a low powered, low wattage, and it's just as capable. There's no difference between them. The difference is that it's a TI. And I think a TI means Texas Instruments. Because Texas Instruments has been in the computer graphics business forever. And uh, TI, um, they, if I, I'm knowing Texas Instruments, they tend to use less, um, they tend to be more efficient in their, their CPU designs, I mean their GPU designs than others are. So this is the TI. And uh, GTX... 750 that's the 750 and the reason why I had to go from this to that one was because this four gigabyte thing and this is a this is an old two gigabyte one um, the difference was that this didn't have uh, video encoding it didn't have uh, the ability to record video from the graphics uh, output and so that's the reason why I had to do that the airlight very VR Page, let's show you that first before my camera uh, gives up on me. 
uh, GitHub, ALVR. What you do is you go to ALVR, you go down here to where it says, um, it will say releases. You find the one that says releases, uh, air client, uh, somewhere in here. Uh, where is release installation? Uh, releases. You go to the releases page. And so let me see if I can increase the size of that text. So you go to source code. I'm using v version. Uh, you can use the newest version or you can use an older version. The newest version is uh, 2.3.1. And so you would select that. And uh, you would end up selecting this executable and that would install into Windows. And uh, that wouldn't... So this is how it works whenever you get it fully started. You bring up uh, your your Airlight VR, which is this icon here. And here's Airlight VR. You start the server. That starts Steam VR, which is something you have to. Uh, and uh, then it goes looking for your headset. And my headset is not really on. It's we're just remembering the last time it says it's offline. 